super quick video for you today. This one is going to be like an aha moment if you've not thought of this already or you've not tried this before. But if you're like me and you love making fancy cold brew drinks or simple <laughs> or iced coffee drinks in the summertime or even just as an afternoon pick me up, then this is the video for you. So when we make those iced coffee or cold brew drinks, we need an ice, right? We need ice to keep it cold. But instead of using regular ice cubes that are gonna melt and water down your drinks, why don't we freeze some of our cold brew or our leftover coffee that we have allowed to cool, freeze that, make ice cubes of your own so that when that melts, guess what? You're just flavoring your coffee even more. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna make a super simple vanilla coffee ice cube that we're gonna be able to use in those awesome ice uh, coffee drinks and cold brew drinks and not water down our beverages. Okay, if you did not know, we have an entire ebook that is devoted to Life Boost coffee ice cube recipes that we also have iced coffee drink recipes in the back of that book to use those ice cubes with. You knew I was gonna say this, but I'm gonna drop that link for you in the post so that in case you need to get your hands on that ebook, you'll have dozens of recipes to choose from. There's so many different flavor combinations that you can come up with. Today, keeping it super simple, we're gonna do a, just a basic vanilla that we can throw into pretty much any of our cold brew or iced coffee drinks that we make. Um, and particularly, we are going to use this one in a recipe that I'll be posting in a few days. Um, so make sure that you make this ahead of time so that it has time to freeze so we can use it in that recipe. I have already mixed this together. I got a little excited. Uh, what I did is I just went ahead and cold brewed some of our dark roast. If you don't know by now, I'm a huge fan of our dark roast. I love the bold flavor, but it's very smooth. So I went ahead and I cold brewed that. You need about a cup. You're gonna need a few squirts of a liquid stevia or sweetener of your choice. I use liquid because it's a cold brew. It's gonna be harder to dissolve the sugars um, if you use something that isn't in a liquid form. You're also gonna need two or three teaspoons of pure vanilla. You just give that a little mix, mix it up, mix it up. Evenly distribute this into your ice cube tray and pop that into your freezer for a good three to four hours so that you can use this in all of your cold brew and iced coffee drink recipes. All right, this is ready for the freezer. I'm gonna pop these in there for a good three to four hours and I'll let you see what our final result is.